Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here and in this video, let's talk about the new FunTouch OS 12. So Vivo has announced the new FunTouch OS 12 along with the Vivo X70 series, the X70 Pro and the X70 Pro Plus. So the FunTouch OS is the latest uh, custom UI from Vivo on top of Android 11. Now it does come with a few changes, not much of a change but there are few changes. So uh, this is the Vivo's FunTouch OS uh, 12 so this is vivo x70 pro and uh, here if you see you can see that uh, font touch os 12 so what are the new changes let's have a look at the ui so we'll be comparing with the font touch os 11 on the vivo x60 to see uh, a side by side comparison on what has changed and what was the improvement so let's see that so before getting started if this is your first time on this channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin so here we have the two devices this is the vivo x70 pro and this is the vivo x60 uh, launched early this year so these are two devices both with fun touch os this is the fun touch os 12 and this is fun touch os 11. so if you look at the, the home screen uh, you can see that one of the major changes is that now we have get uh, the google dialer so if you see that uh, Vivo's dialer has been replaced with Google dialer similarly with message application as well. So this has been uh, removed. Uh, this is the uh, Vivo's uh, messaging application. But with uh, the FunTouch OS 12, you get uh, Google's messaging application. Then the browser has also been changed. Now we get the Chrome as the default browser instead of Vivo's browser. Uh, then uh, camera UI hasn't changed much. You can see a similar UI, not much of change uh, in the camera UI. Although cameras are different, that is a different thing. But overall, uh, if you look at the home screen layout, it uh, looks uh, pretty similar. Then uh, if you go here to the notification toggles, uh, you can uh, see that um, uh, the toggles are now square. Uh, we are yet to see an option to change it uh, we'll uh, see if there is an option to change it but here you can see that uh, this is circular this is a square layout so that's the uh, uh, notification toggles so that's how it looks um, in terms of home screen now if you open the app drawer you can see that uh, even with the dark mode enabled uh, the fun touch os 12 does not have a dark mode for the app drawer we couldn't get the dark mode enabled for the app drawer but this is dark mode enabled so right now you can see that uh, we have enabled the dark theme so dark theme is enabled still uh, the app drawer is uh, um, light mode so we are not sure whether uh, that is an issue or is it like this that's we are not sure now in the app drawer you can see that uh, here it's just the app drawer and search uh, application but here if you see top you can see apps and widgets often so here on the top you can see apps and widgets so this uh, these are the widgets you can uh, place so vivo has improved on the widgets front so you can see here these are the widgets so all the applications which supports widgets are listed here you can actually drag and drop widgets so very useful feature you can see some clean and uh, clean and uh, speed uh, widgets here so again dark and light widget then music player uh, you can see that some really cool music player widget is included then stickers so some new uh, widgets are uh, available, uh, the album featured, the weather, uh, then uh, then all the applications are there. So widgets uh, come uh, here. So you can ha have a look at the widgets here. Apps and widgets are combined. While here you get only the app list. So that's one another change. Now if you go to settings, uh, let's see if there is any change in the settings. So you can see that more or less similar, uh, almost similar. In fact, uh, so you can see here network settings. So nothing's changed here. So let's just go to the about phone. So here the change is a fun touch OS 12 and this is the 11. Now uh, extendable RAM is available on both the devices even on the uh, fun touch OS 11 also a RAM extension feature was there. So that has not been changed here. So if you want to extend the RAM in case you are not uh, able to see it just go to RAM and storage and here we have the option to extend the RAM. So uh, this is the 12 plus 4 gigabyte RAM used so that can be extended so that's not a new feature it was al already available on the Vivo X uh, uh, 60 with uh, the fun touch OS um, 11 as well so those are the new features available now if you come here you can see that there's a new widgets uh, this is the uh, nano music player uh, it actually picks music from the local uh, files as well as Spotify so if you have a connected Spotify account and local music it will actually pick the songs from there so you can configure these uh, options so you can see here spotify and uh, local with local music uh, these are the ones available so you can actually use this to play music so that's one new widget available so these are some of the features of the new fun touch os version uh, 12 so all in all it has been improved uh, some uh, new changes uh, and uh, features included 
uh, apart from that there has been uh, no major ui overhaul uh, although uh, the app drawer has been changed with apps and widget but otherwise um, it feels quite similar in terms of experience but the major change is uh, the google dialer coming in along with the google messaging applications so that is uh, the fun touch os uh, version 12 so hope uh, this video was useful in getting an idea about the fun touch os version 12 so thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day